Myofacial Pain Dysfunction Syndrome It is a pain condition originating from the muscles and its surrounding fascia. It is common among those patients who have musculoskeletal problems. It is mainly due to the trigger points which act upon the involved muscle and it may also lead to referred pain. It is a localized pain in a restricted area or it may be a referred pain of different patterns. These trigger points are nothing but they are the tender spots in the muscle which causes pain and transmit to it to other areas. Classification there are two types acute MPS and chronic myofascial pain syndrome. This acute MPS is involved only in one or two local regions and it lasts for some duration of time alone. But this chronic MPS persists for more than six months and it is widespread pain and the pain may last for few hours to days or it can in even involve more weeks. And there are more perpetuating factors for this chronic MPS like trauma, stress, more severe exercise or underlying disease conditions are also involved. The etiology for this MPS is the traumatic events and ergonic events like the overuse activities of muscle and abnormal postures. Then structural factors like common diseases like spondylosis, scoliosis and osteoarthritis which are the diseases involving the bones and systemic factors like hypothyroidism, vitamin D deficiency and iron deficiency. The epidemiology is that 30 to 85 percent of the per- people who acquired this syndrome have a severe musculoskeletal pain and it is more prevalent in 25, 27 to 50 years of age. But the gender difference is unclear. Pathophysiology Due to repetitive or prolonged activity of the muscle, there will be overloading in the muscle fibers which is due to excess calcium release from the sarcoplasmic reticulum and there will be depletion of the ATP molecules and this causes decrease in a pH level of the muscles and thus leading to muscle hypoxia and ischemia. This causes uh, the formation of tau bands and because of these doubt bands, the inflammatory mediators are released which causes pain and tenderness. Other theories which states about this myofascial pain uh, is that neurogenic inflammation, sensitization and limbic dysfunction theories. Histopathology On light microscope, it shows local contraction of the muscle fibers and there will be narrowing of the endomysium. In electron microscope, we can see decrease in number of mitochondria and shortening of the sarcomia. Moving on to clinical features, there will be local muscle pain and referred pain and the onset may be acute or insidious based on the type of MPS and the symptoms usually or the overuse or precipitating factors. On examination, there will be doubt bands or trigger points present. The range of motion is restricted in most cases and these trigger points may be active or latent. The active trigger points cause symptomatic pain whereas the latent trigger points cause asymptomatic pain. This active trigger points are those which are in active state in the muscle and cause uh, pain at any time whereas these latent trigger points are those which are which remain latent the muscle and when some perpetuating factor acts upon it it transfers into the active trigger point and causes symptomatic pain diagnostic criteria there will be pain while palpating the trigger point and there will be specific pain or referral pattern and local twitch response can be seen. Local twitch response is a jump sign when when the muscle is pressed or palpated. Diagnosis is based on the clinical findings, electromyography or ultrasound and radiograph and laboratory testers are also included. Treatment or management includes pain relief and correction of the precipitating factors. The most common treatment is that stretch and spray technique. In this technique, Ethyl chloride spray or fluoromethane spray is used in the muscle repeated times and stretches given. Next is the heat application technique. In this, usually moist heat is given in the muscles and then injection and stretch technique in which procaine is given in isotonic solution. 
other uh, treatment modes include ultrasound massage and exercises acupuncture medications like nsids and muscle relaxants like chlorazazone are also given which are uh, used commonly and laser therapy is also employed and the most common management in this muscle mps is that transcutaneous electrical stimulation tens there are two theories which states the working of the tens first theory states that when an electrical current is given to the muscle through an electrode on the surface it inhibits the pain signals by inhibiting the nerve impulses which pass the pain signals and the second theory states that when an electrical current is given to the muscles through the electrodes on the surface it, it causes inhibition of the nerve impulses which further causes release of endorphins which are the natural inhibitors of pain which are present naturally in our human body the most commonly used techniques are the stretch and spray technique transcutaneous electrical stimulation and the medications like muscle relaxants are the most commonly employed one differential diagnosis includes tendinopathy arthritis bursitis nerve entrapment and fibromyalgia moving on to prognosis we can see that acute mps resolves spontaneously under medications whereas chronic mps may last up to 63 months and on an average and there are common ranges between 6 to 180 months it can also be recalcitrant when there is an underlying medical condition that is in active state